And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. When the Most High created the earth, he made sure his creation is able to reproduce itself. The Most High never had to recreate humans and anything else he created for a second time. He designed the male and the female in a way that when they come together, they can reproduce themselves. The same goes for the plants, animals, and everything else the Most High created. The plants and the trees make seeds that can reproduce the same species of plants and trees. The animals can reproduce themselves the same way we reproduce. When the Most High wanted to cleanse the earth from the wickedness taking place during the time of Noah, when the fallen angels were taking the daughters of men for wives and reproducing hybrids, the Most High preserved Noah and his family to repopulate the earth. The Most High asked Noah to build an ark and command him to have a pair of every animal in the ark. That way, when Yah cleansed the earth from the abomination taking place at that time, Noah and the preserved animals can reproduce themselves after the flood. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him. And the Lord shut him in. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Israelites, when the Most High made the earth and gave men dominion, Yah also gave men instructions on what he required from them and how to maintain his earth. The Most High created laws that support his views and expectation from his creation. The Most High did not place us here to fend for ourselves and to run around like savages, killing each other, in addition to do as we please. The Most High has a purpose for everything, Although the Most High gave us dominion on earth, God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. The Most High is sovereign and the supreme ruler. Man-made laws, views, and opinions should not surpass the laws and the commandments of the Most High. We live in a society where the invaders have erased everything about the Creator, replaced it with images of themselves, and rewritten history to support their abominations. The invaders have created laws that do not correspond with the laws of the Most High. The people are chastised severely for breaking the laws of men in this present kingdom ruled by the kingdom of darkness than for breaking the laws of the Most High. When the people break the laws of the Most High, they are rewarded in this present satanic kingdom. For example, the Most High forbid same-sex marriages. On June 26, 2015, men declare it legal for same-sex couples to wed. If anyone was against the government to legalize same-sex marriages, the invaders would censor the voice of the opposition, cause many to lose their jobs, bully the weak into acceptance, and they would persecute those who refused to accept their abominations. Most people did not research to find out what the laws of the Most High said. Some people tried to use the scriptures to justify their sins. Majority did not care. Remember, your silence means consent. The invaders successfully influenced the Most High's creation to dismiss his laws. The original people no longer trust, believe, nor fear their maker. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Some people are probably wondering who are the invaders. First and foremost, if you cannot control your emotions and you cannot think rationally, exit now. For years, black people have been tormented by the invaders. The hybrids 
proclaim that the melanin in our skin is a curse. They love to compare us to animals. The invaders have created human zoos to display black people, use our children as alligator bait. They persecute and judge black people on the regular basis. Now that the truth is being told, those whose evil deeds are being exposed cannot handle their history. Now that the tables have turned, what we have been enduring for years, the invaders cannot handle. Yet they are the superior, smart, and the chosen people of the Most High. When Satan rebelled against the Most High, he convinced many angels to follow him. The fallen angels and the unclean spirits formed the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness invaded the most highest creation, planted their seed, and produced the hybrids. The fallen angels and the original people made the demons in the flesh, aka the hybrids. The most high has nothing to do with the hybrids. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. The Most High's creation has the ability to reproduce itself without a problem. Israelites, now do you see why Planned Parenthood is located in the black communities? The hybrids will always need the original people as their host to reproduce themselves. They cannot go for a long period of time without reproducing with an indigenous person. They risk dying out if they choose to not intermingle with the original people. There is a purpose for the rise of interracial couples, and you thought love have something to do with it. Remember the parable of the wheat and the tares. The scriptures reveal to us that Satan planted his tares among the wheat and went on his way. The Most High allowed the tares to live among the wheat because at the end he will separate the tares from the wheat and destroy them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first to the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn. I have had people leave comments on other videos talking about the original people and the hybrids saying the fallen angels did not have sex with the original people. In addition, they proclaim it is impossible. The scripture said what is impossible with men is very much possible with the Most High. And he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Unbelief is the key to destruction after a lack of knowledge. The scriptures reveal to us that the angels took wives from the daughters of men and had children. When the scripture said, and he knew her or went into her, that is another way the scriptures is revealing that intercourse has taken place and the woman became pregnant. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. On multiple occasions, the scriptures used the term he knew her or went into her as a cold word for conception. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And David comforted Bathsheba, his wife, and went in unto her and lay with her. And she bare a son, and he called his name Solomon, and the Lord loved him. For those of you who still choose to not believe the fallen angels mated with the daughters of men, when you have sex in your dreams, who do you think you're having sex with? The spirits that take on the likeness of a person you know are fallen angels and unclean spirits. That is what you're having sex with in the spirit realm. Your spirit is the real you. To the women who are single and don't have children in the physical realm, but in the spiritual world you have children, how did you get those children? You have dreams, you are pregnant, how did that happen? What do you believe a spirit spouse is? 
Open your eyes, Israelites. The book of Enoch will reveal more on this subject. The scripture said to not focus so intently on the seen things, but the unseen. The unseen things are eternal. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Although the Most High gave us dominion on earth, whatever takes place in the spirit realm will manifest in the physical realm. The root to everything that is taking place in the physical realm is in the spirit realm. By the way, Satan and his angels dwell here on earth before the Most High created his people. You have to elevate to the level of understanding the spiritual realm to understand what you live among. To the men who like to blame the daughters of Zion for everything. The daughters of Zion were not around when the hybrids were mating with the indigenous heathen women during the times of Noah. By the way, majority of you have these hybrids for wives now, committing the same abomination. Most of you are falling for you are what your father is doctrine and taking these hybrids for wives. In addition, the daughters of Zion are now reproducing with the hybrids. You do not even know what you're sleeping with. He without sin cast the first stone. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Israelites, it is extremely important to know the difference between bloodline inheritance and birthplace inheritance. A bloodline is a group of people descending from the same lineage. Birthplace is a place of birth. A person who is a member of the Ishmaelite bloodline can be born anywhere around the world and that individual would be an Ishmaelite. It doesn't matter where the Ishmaelite is born, nothing can change that individual's bloodline. He or she will always be an Ishmaelite regardless to the place of birth. A great example to help you understand, the Most High scattered his people all over the world. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Due to the Most High scattering his people, there are Israelites living among the heathens in every land in this world. Regardless to where an Israelite is born, he or she will always be an Israelite due to their bloodline. Just because an Israelite is born outside the promised land, it does not disqualify him or her of their bloodline inheritance. The Most High does everything according to bloodline. The Most High divided the earth into lots and distributed the earth to Noah's sons and their descendants. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. From the time the Most High distributed the land to Noah's sons and their descendants, until this day the inheritance Yah gave Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, remains the same. Therefore, any land around the world the Most High gave to the descendants of Ham belongs to Ham's descendants until this day. Nothing will ever change that. The promised land is an inheritance to the Israelites. If you do not have the blood of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob running through your veins, you cannot be an Israelite, nor can you claim the promised land as your inheritance. The reason there is no peace in the region of the world the imposters dwell, the people who are there do not belong there. The indigenous Hamites and new species know those who proclaim to be the chosen people are not who they say they are. We read in the scriptures how Canaan was cursed for stealing the land that belonged to Shem. Just because the Most High exiled his people from the land he swear to them, the promised land still belonged to the Israelites. The Most High promised to bring them back and place them on their land. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them, and I will plant them upon their land and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land which I have given them, saith the Lord thy God. Presently, there are all kinds of casualties taking place in the promised land, but you will never hear about it because the synagogue of Satan censors the news in all media outlets, including social media. 
through bloodline is how the Most High separate the land on earth. The Most High never changed his mind on the land inheritance he gave to his creation. Land ownership is extremely important to the synagogue of Satan. The reason land ownership is important, the serpent seed has no portion in the Most High's land distribution. Because they do not have any land inheritance, colonization played a major role into establishing the serpent seed into the force they are today. Israelites, Satan has to imitate everything the Most High does to deceive the world. Bloodline is how the Most High operate. Birthplace is how Satan operate. The hybrids came from a specific part of this world. If Satan is going to convince the world that his seed belong, his seed must dwell in every land just like the indigenous people the Most High created are in every single land on this earth. In order for his seed to blend with the indigenous population, colonization and slavery was the method the kingdom of darkness used to get his seed all over the world. While the hybrids took possession of the land they invaded, they planted their seed. Remember the scriptures revealed to us while men slept, Satan planted tares among the wheats. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. When the scripture said while men slept, it does not indicate why you were physically sleeping in your bed. The scriptures is referencing a lack of knowledge. When you were in your spiritual slumber, for example, there are black people living today believing everything the hybrids tell them about themselves. Such people are in a spiritual slumber. While those individuals are sleeping, the kingdom of darkness is stealing, killing, and destroying their lives and the world. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. In order for Satan to pass his tares as legitimate humans, he had his hybrids intermingle with the Most High's creation. Now that the offspring of the hybrid is born, the hybrid can claim ownership of the land and proclaim to have an inheritance due to their birthplace. This is what the hybrids who stole our identity did. Presently, they are deceiving the world into believing they are the Israelites under a new false name. South Africa and Australia is an example of hybrids invading those lands and taking possession of the land and proclaiming birth rights as their rights to inherit the resources of that land. The hybrids strip the indigenous population of their inheritance. A person born in America will be an American. In today's society, the birthplace replaced bloodline and nationality. Remember, Israelites, nothing can ever change a person's bloodline unless you are willingly genociding your bloodline by reproducing with the hybrids. Once you wipe yourself out, your bloodline no longer exists. Remember, by the third and fourth generation, your bloodline become a full-blooded hybrid. The full-blooded hybrid is no longer human because there's no trace of Yah's creation in its blood. If you have an ear to hear, let them hear. In today's society, a person born outside of the United States would not be an American. That individual would identify with the culture and place of birth. You cannot be born in France to French parents and claim to be an American. You cannot be born in Japan to Japanese parents and claim to be Canadian. If we use bloodline as the way to identify a person, you would identify a person by their tribe or family clan name. The terminology we use today to identify a person cannot be used because those terms cannot identify a person. The serpent seed changed the classification of a person. Asian, black, white is incorrect. Ishmaelite, Israelite, Moabite, and Edomite are a few examples of how you would identify the people living today according to the Most High's bloodline standards. The Most High does everything according to bloodline. Satan imitates the Most High's concept and does everything by birthplace. It is important to Satan and his seed to claim birthplace inheritance because his people are not natural to the earth. They have no share in the Most High's land inheritance he gave to his creation. This is why it is important to those who are of the serpent seed to claim birthplace as their inheritance. The scriptures reveal to us that the Israelites would lose their identity. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill 
They have forgotten their resting place. Israelites, the other race of people living today know exactly who they are and their bloodline. The heathens did not forget who their forefathers were. In addition, they know exactly what family they descend. I will use the so-called Arabs as an example. The Arabs are the modern name used for the hybrid Hamites. The indigenous people such as Mizraim descendants, aka Egyptians, have lived in their father's land since the Most High divided the land in lots and gave it to their ancestors. The Hamites know who they are according to bloodline and they know who we are according to bloodline. That goes for all non-Israelites. Even the hybrids know they are not natural to the earth. They will go to great lengths to conceal it from you because there's no truth in them. The scriptures reveal to us that they, the nations, and the scriptures call them out by bloodline, conspire to keep us from being a nation. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, and the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarenes, Jabal, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Assur also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot, Selah. Israelites, if they did not know who we are, why would they conspire to keep us from being a nation? Do not believe these actors and actresses. Their words say one thing, but their character match the seed of the serpent. Yah said you would know them by their fruits. You shall know them by their fruits. And gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Their fruits is revealing the exact trait that the devil is described as the leader of, stealing, killing, and destroying. The way the invaders colonized nations all over the world was through robbing, killing, slavery, religion, and destroying lives. These traits remain dominant in them until this day. Colonization did nothing but bring pain to the victims and power to the invaders and the kingdom they represent. Until this day, the nations that are under colonial rule must pay the nation that colonized them. For example, Great Britain is still colonizing Jamaica. Today, they do not call it colonization. They use the term territory. Just like how America have several territories all over the world. The countries who gained their independence from their colonial master, the serpent seed oppressed them. They have to make sure those nations do not rise in order to maintain their dominance. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness can change history to give them the upper hand. According to the Most High, bloodline is the determining factor of everyone's land inheritance. Identifying with the term black do not determine your bloodline. You can be black and descend from Shem, Ham, or Japheth. Just because you are black, it does not determine you are an Israelite. The Most High's original creation is dark. To be an Israelite, you have to descend from one of the 12 tribes. You cannot convert to a bloodline like the imposters have done to deceive the world. When the Most High is ready to judge the nations, he will gather his people and place them in their rightful land inheritance. Colonization will not have the final say, nor will birth place. Satan has polluted history with the assistance of the synagogue of Satan. The Most High said in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Israelites, take advantage of the abundance of wisdom the Most High is making available to you. Do not let the kingdom of darkness rob you of the critical wisdom given to you through unbelief and many other methods the kingdom of darkness used. Always remember the Most High has the final say. In due time, we will reap and receive our inheritance if we faint not. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coasts of the earth and with them the blind and the lame, the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. They shall come with weeping, and with supplication will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, 
and Ephraim is my firstborn. 